Hi everyone and welcome to the how-to video for Project Watcher. In this video, I'll be running through the different features of the product and some scenarios you can use the product in. Project Watcher is the easiest way for you to get the power of two cameras without the need for any software configuration. To understand more about the product, continue watching. Project Watcher comes with two different camera modules, Camera 1 and Camera 2. We've purposefully designed the cameras to be compatible with different stands available in the market through incorporating the industry standard quarter-inch screw thread tripod mount. The setup requires four easy steps. Firstly, screw the camera into the stand of your choice. Then, connect two cameras by plugging the link cable into the connection ports located at the back of each camera modules. Next, connect the two cameras to your computer via one USB-C cable. And lastly, adjust the camera angles to ensure that you are capturing what you need. If you're looking to use dual cameras for your video calls, simply change the video input device within the different video calling platforms. Project Watcher comes with a very special remote that allows you to customize your videos in many ways. Let's begin with the picture-in-picture -picture mode. This mode serves as a great way for you to showcase what you're doing whilst also showcasing your facial expression. To ensure that you are getting the video you want, we've included many customization options for you to adjust the video setup to your liking. Depending on the content you're filming, you might choose to have a larger or smaller secondary video. Simply click this button located on your screen to toggle between different size of secondary video. If you'd like to change the location of your secondary video, you may also choose to do so by clicking this button to ensure that your secondary video does not obstruct anything you wish to show. And lastly, if you'd like to switch the video position of the two cameras, you may do so by clicking this button. Next, let's talk about the picture-by-picture -picture mode. This mode serves as a great way for you to showcase an equal amount of yourself and what you're presenting. Some possible scenarios in which you can use this mode are online lessons or content creation. This dual camera mode comes with two different sizes, an uncropped and cropped video. You may click on this button to toggle between the different video size. Similar to the picture-in-picture -picture mode, you can also click this button to switch the position of the two cameras. Next, let's talk about the two cameras and their individual capabilities. Starting off with camera 1, the front-facing cameras. If you'd like to switch from a dual camera mode to only showing yourself by camera 1, you may click on this button to do so. This camera comes with the ability to digitally zoom for distances 1.3, 1.5 and 2 times. Moreover, it also comes with an exposure setting that allows you to change the brightness of your video depending on your surrounding lighting conditions. Next, let's talk about camera 2, the object facing camera. Similar to camera 1, if you'd like to switch from a dual camera mode to only showing camera 2, you may choose to do so by clicking this button. Camera 2 comes with the ability to optically zoom for up to 2.75 times. This ensures that you have the ability to showcase intricate details in your product, no matter the shape or size. If your object is not in focus, you can click on this button over here to get the camera to focus on the object you are presenting. A flip button has also been included to allow you to do a 180 degrees turn of the camera in scenarios where your object is not showing in the right direction. Lastly, similar to camera 1, an exposure button has also been included to allow adjustments of the brightness of your video. Next, let's talk about some of the other nifty controls included to improve your user experience. Firstly, an anti-flicker button that gets rid of all pesky light flickers through adjusting the video refresh rate has been included. A mute button has also been included to allow for instantaneous muting in scenarios where you do not wish to be heard. A kill switch has also been added to entirely shut down the product in scenarios where you do not wish to be heard or seen. And lastly, to allow you to switch between different settings quickly, a preset button has been included. Simply adjust the camera to your desired setting and long press this button to save the current setting. A ring of light will appear when the setting has been successfully saved. 
This about wraps up everything you need to know about Project Watcher. Do leave down any questions you have down in the comment section below and we'll be sure to answer them. Thank you for watching.